He went to Cuba. Who's your brother, by the way? That was funny. That is genius. He was falling asleep all the time. He just had a kid. Right. Jose Cuenco, this is for the generic spot. Yes, please. Well, when we first meet your character at the beginning of the movie, it seems like he has it all together. Right? That's. We will learn that that's far from the short lived. It's just, it's very short lived. Can you talk about this man and what he goes through? You know what what was. Really enticing to me uh, to play this character is that you know here you have a guy who has the world on a string. He's got it. He's figured life out. It's perfect. He's a winner. You know, family, success, everything. And then he experiences a tragedy that you know uproots everything, and he's he's you know forced to you know try to put back together the pieces of his life. Um, as a as a line for the character, I love that. And then there was the the appearance personified of love, time, and death as a part of helping him to find his way back, to, you know, to uh, joy and and life again. Um, and then the surprise at the 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 end of the film. It just really it just had everything, you know, all of the all of the components of of what I look for when I want to want to uh, commit to a film. And at the end of the day, he's, he's talking about dealing with loss, which is something that we all have to do in our mm -hmm. lives. Was this character in any way special to you in that sense? Yeah, you know, with, with the, you know, I'd, I'd already taken the film, um, and, you know, then my, my father was uh, diagnosed with, with cancer. So it was, it was a, you know, a huge opportunity for he and I to connect as he was dealing and we were dealing with, with uh, you know, his mortality, the character, all of the character work that I was doing, we would talk and we'd go back and forth be between our lives and the character and what the experiences were. So it became this beautiful bonding um, around creating the character and I felt like I was able to embody the uh, depth of the experience of the, the character th through the experience and the full wide open confrontation with death dealing with that with, with my father so in, in, in as an artist it was magnificent and just uh, as a son it was beautiful and as a, a human being it was one of the most formative events of my life. There's an um, interesting metaphor in the movie that he builds these dominoes, yeah. it takes him days to build them, mm -hmm. and then he doesn't even look at how they fall down. Yeah. How would you explain it? Yeah, the, I got that, um, so in my mind, the, the, the character was a guy who would try to fix everything with his mind, that he's a thinker, and there's a business plan for everything, so he has worked out his plan for grief, and he's going to read every religious text, and he's going to study everything about spirituality and try to find his way back, and as the movie picks him up, I had decided he was, uh, he had moved on to Buddhism. And the, the Buddhist monks do these sand mandalas, right? So they work for 14 straight hours a day, making these beautiful uh, colored sand, huge, gigantic sand uh, pieces of art. And they look at it for 60 seconds when they're done and s destroy it and sweep it away. And it's excruciating to watch, but it's a practice in impermanence, understanding that nothing's permanent. So I use the dominoes for my character that he makes these huge domino constructions and knocks them over without looking as a practice of impermanence. Can you talk a little bit about the extraordinary actors supporting cast that this movie has. I would even not even call them supporting, but yeah, they're, they're, you ha you're surrounded by some great people. Here. Oh, yeah. It's almost like a superhero movie. You know, <laughs> when you look at that cast, it's like, geez, it's, it's like they need capes. Um, it, it's, you know, it's one of the best casts I've, I've ever worked with. And, you know, you know, possibly the best cast uh, I've, I've ever worked with. You know, it's, um, it's, it's really a, a testament to the material. Uh, Alan Loeb wrote a, a screenplay that could get uh, all of these heavy hitters excited 
about uh, being a part of this project, but um, you know, Helen Mirren, she just, uh, I just love the choices she makes. She chose blue for death, like blue was the color of death. And she chose to play death as so full of zeal and energy and life. You know, I just, I just, I just thought that that was uh, beautiful. As an actor, it was great to uh, go to work every day and somebody was doing something that was at the top of the, the uh, artistic endeavor, that somebody was going to do something or say something or create something that was among the best acting you're ever going to see. You know, it, it was uh, it was a uh, it was a wonderful honor and a privilege. And what do you think David brought to it all as a filmmaker? You, what's, what was so fantastic about David is he knew exactly what he wanted, and he knew to let it develop. You know, he stood back. You know, when you talk about a uh, a shepherd leads the flock from behind. You know, he did such a beautiful job of allowing things to develop naturally and he didn't feel like he had to wrangle and control and he sort of let things go into this really beautiful naturally developmental uh, space and he, he encouraged us to play. You know, so there's a, there's a lot of uh, uh, beautiful play that is, is, is captured on, on screen. Which included shooting in the sh in the streets of New York. Of yeah, course. yeah. It, with, with New York and Christmas, which is was magnificent for this film, is you feel like magical things can happen. You know, the conceit of the film is a little bit far fetched, right? And what makes it a little bit less far fetched is that it's New York on Christmas. So you kind of magical things happen in New York. Or on Christmas, so I, I feel like it was a necessity. Um, it, you know, it just seems like if you if you set it in Cleveland, it's a little bit different. That's really <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do now a tiny.